this video i will show you how to run ubuntu on your mac system through oracle virtual box so i'm going to start here a new instance and it's given here ubuntu 64 i will keep it as default i'll move to next i will assign the memory let me assign here 1500 mb and here it's asking like create a virtual hard drive now do not add a virtual hard drive so i am just going to create a virtual hard drive or i can use my existing which is inaccessible if you have already created some virtual hard drive you can use that or if you don't have then you can just uh, create a virtual hard disk now so here it's virtual box disk image or virtual hard disk or uh, virtual machine disk so i will create uh, vdi will go to continue i will keep it as dynamically allocated and here uh, it will ask for the size so i will give here around uh, 20 gb so i can use in later if something is uh, increasing the size after install of this so i can i will not face any issue in that so here it's created now i'm going to settings and i will attach the iso file i have downloaded downloaded from the ubuntu portal so i will go in this uh, controller id i will see here if you have live cd you can uh, run this with live image i will attach its uh, listing here or uh, if you not see here you can choose the uh, image file it's uh, located on desk desktop so i clicked it and uh, my things are ready to go so once it's ready I will just press start and it will open one terminal, terminal here or PM. Let's see how it works. The install is so it's starting the virtual machine. Here you can see it started, it started uh, booting. So once you come here, it will uh, show this type of window like try one to or install one to. So there, there's uh, you can try with try this if you're going to try it will open one uh, open one temporary os for you and you can start browsing the things if you want you can use that it is like live cd you inserted the live run cd of ubuntu and you are just using without installing installing the os you are just using the os so this is a type of live CD type. and if you're going to install it, it will install the file system on your uh, VM and uh, it will be permanent like uh, you, you do not need to go again and again with same process to come here on trial. So I'm going to install it. So it asked me for uh, some details like uh, the language selection and the keyboard layout. Uh, so I test here in this US. Moving to next is ask for normal install or minimal install. It's too small to see. So let me zoom out. I will go in screens and I will zoom out by one fifty percent. So now it's I think now it's a quite big screen now. So I will zoom more. So now it's uh, completely visible. So I will go with normal install and will download the updates while installing the uh, Ubuntu. Or uh, you can check out this also. So it will download the uh software third party software so while installing it will download the third party softwares like uh, some drivers and all wi-fi wi-fi drivers so now this section is uh, a bit important like it will ask to erase the disk and install ubuntu so it will entirely format your uh, hard drive if you have seen if you have hard drive it will completely format the whole hard drive and it will start installing so here you have three options encrypt the new ubuntu install uh, directory for security use lm lvm with new ubuntu install or something else if you are going to something else you will be asked here to choose the drive so i it given one partition like a uh, dev slash sta i can create here this hard drive is uh, 22.9 gb so you can make partition here or if you want to go with uh, the normal install let it come back again so if you're going to erase uh, this can install by default so it will give one pop-up saying like we are erasing the entire disk like uh, it's erasing the entire disk and uh, will format one partition as ext4 a single partition if you want to continue you can continue here or if you want to go back to choose something else you can switch switch back so i will continue here i don't want any new thing or i don't want any extra extra drive to get created 
you can create swap you can create uh, you can create a root folder for that so i will choose the time zone and uh, once time zone is chosen i will click on continue so it will ask for your name so i am giving here suppose i given this uh, computer name as uh, because so this com computer name is a bit important when you are in same network and uh, one system is having the same name bitforce.in one computer name and you are trying to trying to assign this uh, computer name to other computer in the same network then it will show like this name is uh, already there in the current network so i will choose one password for this uh, once i choose the password my things are ready to go and if i click next it will start installing so it started copying the files and all so it will uh, come up with this type of window more probably it will show here some images of ubuntu like uh, the players and all music players terminal and something like that the features so what the features it have because i am running on virtual host and i have not given enough memory uh, to this pm so that's why it's a bit uh, slow here for now you can see like uh, it's giving firefox uh, the open office uh, and the image views and all so it will rotating the images one by one and you can see the progress of uh, copying the files here files are being copied or if, uh, if you want to see the um, status and uh, the track where how long it will going to take so uh, this progress bar will guide you like this is going to take uh, five minutes 10 minutes or half an hour thing like that depending on the disk like uh, if you are using ssd it the process will be fast if you are using hsd a bit slow process will be there in copying the files so you can see the progress here like it completed it's completed so far and uh, there are some files remaining which will be copied shortly now i started installing the system that uh, the file file system copy is, is over and now it's started installing the system and it will take around uh, 10 minutes uh, to install to complete this to come here till this line because it meanwhile it's downloading the updates from the ubuntu rep repository and it's trying to install the third party zap and the drivers as well in installing that process it will take a bit more time or maybe 30, 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes max so once that's done we are ready to go inside an installed system so you can see here the system is installed uh, around 90 percent 10 percent remaining if you observe here in downside it will show some blinking blinking um, on the disk and uh, this CD drive. So what these are, these are transferring the file from one uh, to another. And uh, that's why it's blinking continuously, read write operation is uh, being conducted there. So now it's, uh, see here, the few packages are being downloaded, uh, like which are the third party packages, which are the third party dependencies, which are being downloaded here. So it's still taking time. Uh, once this package will be downloaded, it will be ready to go. So you can see here the installation is complete and it's asking for a restart. Um, and uh, if I press the restart, it will last for removing the uh, installation media and uh, then it will try to reboot it. So remove the uh, disk from virtual drive. I will, uh, yeah, so it's asking to remove uh, remove the disk, press enter, file press enter here. And I hope it will start working. So you see here, like uh, the system started, now I am going to log in here. Now, if you go here and if you see, I scaled it to 200, so I will scale up 200 now this is when so i will go in settings steam showing slow settings i will go in settings I, this is now a bit fast from last time and you can see here you can see the users what are the users so you currently only one user is there so i'll come back and i will go in this place section i am not able to see that option background like, um, i will go in device and in device i will search for resolution display yeah so you, you can see here the current resolution is not uh, being shown here i'll just minimize it and i will try to see if uh, yeah so i can see here like uh, this is 8 by 800 by 600 resolution so what i will do i will choose one appropriate resolution size i will choose 1920 by uh, 1440 to increase the font size and also it's over the uh, resolution 
and uh, it asks for keep the changes yeah i will keep the changes for this settings and uh, now it's a bit uh, wider screen than previous uh, because i switched to resolution 1900 in into 1440 now my uh, setup basic setup is done if i want to add something here if i want to install something here if i want to do some operations here you can if you want to run uh, if you are a mac user and you want to run a vm of ubuntu or any operating system such as uh, such as i am using uh, ubuntu here so you can try it out with the help of VM and uh, Oracle VM Manager or no, uh, other providers are also there. You can use uh, VMware also. So you can try it out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for latest updates. <laughs> Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.